It's December, it's Christmas season, so I've decided to continue with the seasonal theme that I started in last week's video, in which I played the wonderful indie Christmas light gun shooter, The House of the Bread. Check it out if you missed it. So this week I'm playing another great Christmassy light gun game, and what could be more Christmassy than Die Hard? Die Hard Trilogy is a game compilation based on the original three Die Hard movies, at least two of which took place at Christmas time. DHT is an incredible little package featuring a different game for each movie, each of an entirely different genre to the other two. All three games see you play as John McClane, Bruce Willis's character in the movies. The first game, Die Hard, is a third-person shooter set during the events of the film in which you attempt to foil a terrorist takeover of the Nakatomi Plaza during the staff Christmas party. The second game, Die Harder, is an on-rails light gun shooter beginning at the airport where McLean has come to collect his wife but stumbles upon another terrorist fiasco. And the third game is a driving game based on the third film, Die Hard with a Vengeance, in which you race around the city to find and defuse hidden bombs. Three different games, three different genres, and don't think that these are all just small games. No, these are fully realised, complete individual games. They could have been released separately and been successful individually, but instead, all three games were released on the same disc for the price of one game. The game was released for Sega Saturn and Sony PlayStation back in 1990-something, and today I'm going to play the second of the set, Die Hard 2, Die Harder. I have both Saturn and PlayStation physical versions of this game in my collection, but instead of playing on real hardware as I usually do, on this occasion I'll be running the PS1 version of this game in an emulator on my Raspberry Pi. I have a few reasons for doing this. First of all, the game has a significant weakness, and that is a lack of in-game light gun calibration. There's no way to calibrate your light gun on real hardware, so there's a very strong chance you'll be playing with an offset on a PS1 or Saturn. In emulation, that is an easy obstacle to overcome. Also, it's a real advantage to be able to play this game with enhanced resolution. The native PlayStation resolution means you lose a lot of detail, and with enhanced res in an emulator, it helps to be able to identify targets and even see the faces of your enemies. Then there's the fact that I just love playing with my Sindon light guns and I very rarely make videos about them, so I thought on this occasion I'll use them in one of my gameplay videos, and thanks to my friend Luther Gond, the PCSX rearmed emulator is now finally capable of emulating the Konami Hyperblaster, which Die Hard used as opposed to the Gun Con. I can also map all of the important functions to buttons right on the gun instead of resorting to trigger and button combinations, off-screen reloading or secondary controller buttons. I can have it all mapped to the buttons on the Sindon light gun. Okay, before we get started, I'll just remind you that if you made it this far, then pressing the like button is compulsory. Please also feel free to leave a comment telling me what you think of this game, and if there are others you think I should try. Finally, please consider subscribing so you can see more from me in the future. Right, I'm going to get started. Now, you might notice the first thing I do when I start this game is to take out the helicopter. The reason for this is that a helicopter is worth 10,000 points, and if you take out that first one, you get unlimited double Berettas for the rest of the game. The game has quite a few bonuses like that if you take out all of the enemies in a certain zone, or succeed in not killing any civilians on an area. You get rewarded with some weapon drops, an alternative path, or even a particular type of weapon with unlimited ammo. And that kind of thing really helps. Enough of my jibber jabber, let's go.
team to the new <laughs>
stay in your seats until the plane reaches the terminal.
Yippee-ki-yay!